this July, I wanted to make a cocktail that felt really patriotic. And so I was thinking to myself, what are the most patriotic things you could put into a cocktail? Of course, there's eagles and there's red, white, and blue. So today I'm gonna to show you a cocktail that I'm calling Eagles and Hawks. And I'm gonna show you what the red, white, and blue is. For red, we have cranberry wine. For blue, we have a little blueberry wine. And for white, I have Gewürztraminer. And I love this combination of flavors. To me, Gewürztraminer is very perfumey, and this is going to add a really nice backbone of flavor. And then, of course, the great fruity punch that comes from these fruit wines. So really simple drink. And what I also like about this is that it's low alcohol. So this is a cocktail that you can enjoy all day long on a hot day and not become too overwhelmed with the alcohol content, which some of my cocktails can have. So we'll start with an ounce and a half of Gewürztraminer, an ounce and a half of cranberry wine, and an ounce and a half of blueberry wine. Now you can also make this as a larger drink. You can put it into a pitcher and you can see I'm using equal portions of all of these wines. So you could just combine a bottle, each of these into a giant pitcher and then you've really got a party. So there you are, we've got our wine base and now I'm going to add some jam. I have a little bit of strawberry jam and this is going to really amplify the fruit flavors in this drink. And, uh, and as we shake it, it'll really break up the berries in it. And this strawberry jam also will add some pulp to the drink, which will give it a nice texture. So about a tablespoon of jam is good. And then we're going to add some fruit. And again, when you have fruit in this drink with being shaken, it's gonna pulverize it a little bit just to give it a little additional color. So we'll do a little, little pinch of blueberries. You can do about five blueberries in a drink, it's up to you. And we'll do a nice big spoonful of pomegranate oils. Um, and I love the flavor in these. This could be raspberries too. Um, it's really up to you to be creative. So super simple. Now I'm going to add some ice. We're gonna give that a good shake. And even though this isn't going to be a strained cocktail, you wanna shake it really hard because that's what's gonna get all of, the, uh, all of the jam to really blend in with the rest of the cocktail. You want to shake that till it gets super frosty on the outside. Then you just want to open your shaker and at this point you're just going to dump that straight into the glass. And what you can see is it's gotten nice and frothy. All of that fruit has been pulverized into the drink. I can smell it already. It smells delicious and it really doesn't need much else. Put a festive straw on it. Get yourself really in the 4th of July spirit and enjoy.